Welcome to episode 254 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. It is the first episode of the year 2023, and we're going to talk a little bit about paradigm shifting and why it can really make a difference this year. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right, it is the new year. We have a fresh start. People do all types of things at the beginning of the new year. Some people are New Year's resolution people. Some people like a nice fresh restart and they kind of approach the new year with that mentality. Some people don't even think about it. They just keep rolling. And I don't know what it is. I don't, I'll tell you what kind of person I am in a minute, but I don't know what it is about the new year. There's something about it. It's just one day goes to the next day and it's just another day, but there's something about it that triggers this, this opportunity in my mind. And it seems like it triggers the opportunity in a lot of other people's mind. And it's really the opportunity to cut ties. It's like cutting ties with the last year, cutting ties with the challenges, cutting ties with the mistakes and the bad things, and this opportunity to do it again, to get a fresh start, even though it's just another day. The sun just went around one more time or the earth went around the sun one more time. But there's something about it internally that I think intrinsically as humans, we look for a fresh start and a rebirth moment. And New Year's provides kind of a broad scale opportunity for us to do that. I personally used to be a New Year's resolution person. I'm not anymore. Um, just because, you know, like resolving to do something, I guess you do it enough times and realize that it's not as strong as you wish that it was, is, is the kind of thing, right? And we're gonna go, if you go to the gym right now, it's gonna be super crowded in the morning, super crowded at lunchtime, super crowded after work. And then in two weeks, it'll be less crowded. And by the end of the month, it'll be back to normal, uh, normal traffic amounts. And I'd be curious to talk to like a gym owner to just show us what that actually looks like. Um, so I'm not like a, let me make a new year's resolution. I have heard some people do say something that I think is really cool, which is adopting a word of the year. Like this is the word I'm focusing on this year. And um, I think that that is probably a much more practical and realistic solution to actually making progress. I talk about this when I talk about building your brand and or company culture and values, coming up with a very distilled word of what you're trying to accomplish and putting that word or those two or three words on the wall and using those as a guide as opposed to a very detailed thing you need to accomplish. Think of it like, um, like a large particulate filter, right? You can get a water filter and as you go down layers of the filter, it gets finer and finer and finer until at the end is like the very fine filter, right? This very specific thing is going to filter out very specific and small things from the water. But that can only happen if the layers of filters above it are filtering out the bigger filter, uh, the bigger particulates. So I think like having a word of the year, um, you know, or a guiding phrase is not a fine filter. It's actually a large particulate filter that gets the majority of the stuff out of the way so you can focus on at least a lane. So the word of the year thing kind of happens uh, or it came, to, came to my attention and I, I like it. I haven't picked a word this year. Maybe I will pick a word. Um, you know, my general word is clarity. We know that and I'm gonna keep that as my general word because that is my large particulate filter, right? Clarity being perspective and you can't know where it is, how to get to where it is you wanna go unless you understand where you are on the map and I'm gonna die on that sword, I love it. I think that is my kind of uh, uh, like kind of lifelong word. Um, so thinking about this next year, some uh, one of my team members in Automotive State of the Union or a SOTU, the media company uh, that, that I, I'm a part of, there, we were in a, a meeting and this, this team member, Chris, who's awesome, Chris Reeves, look him up, follow him on LinkedIn especially, he's our lead writer for Sodu. He said, I've decided to change the paradigm and paradigm could also be perspective actually and I'm thinking about those things kind of go together. Changing the paradigm on how I think about exercising or working out in the morning, whether that's yoga, yoga meditation, um, you know, some, some exercise, some cardio, whatever. He said, I'm going to think about it as I'm going to work. Instead of thinking about it's the thing I have to do that's gonna make me late for work, which at, even in his case is kind of an arbitrarily enforced time, like when he doesn't really have a start time, but in his mind he does. And think about going and doing these things as work, doing these things for my body and my health as work. So when I start doing those, I'm actually at work. And I'm actually contributing to the things I have to do in my profession and my vocation. 
um, or even you could turn that around and say, thinking about the things I'm doing for my family. And that really piggybacks off a conversation my wife and I were having last night. And she was like, she was like, what do you think it is that is in the way of you just making a commitment to exercise regularly? You know, I've got definitely gone on and off throughout the years and I, I'm kind of, I kind of like go on streaks, right? I'll get motivated and I'll go and I'll stick to it. Like the first time I can really remember is when I, I, the original P90X came out and I was like, you know what? I'm sick of like being overweight and not feeling good and I'm just going to do it. And literally cold turkey, I started P90X and I stuck with it through the 90 days and really did transform my body, my mindset, my my energy. And more than anything, I think it actually changed my metabolism in a major way. And that was like a decade ago. Um, but still, I got work to do. I have to start getting exercise. So she was like, what is it that's standing in the way? Like, what is more of a priority than that? You know, think about, you know, if you really think about it, it's like, well, why you know, why would you not do that? You know, it's going to actually give you more time with your grandkids and kind of thinking legacy wise. And, you know, Chris is our, our writer, his saying, like, I'm going to change the paradigm of how I approach it. Like, this is my work, you know, and, and just in an instant like that, that actually clicked something across in my head. And like several of the other people on our team on that call were like, hey, I'm going to adopt that one right now because that just changed my whole feeling about you know, what my morning routine or what I do in the morning. And so as we go into 2023 and think about this new year and everyone's kind of in this mentality of like, hey, let me try something new. Let me get a little bit of a fresh start. Um, while like striking while the iron's hot, think about the paradigm in your life that you can change or shift. And maybe it is the exercise one, but typically speaking, it's gonna be the thing that you really wanna change you haven't been able to change. How can you start to think about that as a necessary requirement for your work? Or if, you know, you're not someone who's driven by like the duty and purpose and fun of work, maybe that's how can I, how can I, you know, consider this the first step that I can do to be a good parent today or be a good friend or spouse or, you know, be a good contributor today. Like how can I change the paradigm instead of whatever it is that you're trying to implement into your life? How can you consider it as one of those things instead of more literally considering it? As what, it, as what it is. So for instance, with the exercise one, I should exercise so I can be healthy. I wanna, I wanna look differently or whatever. That's why I'm gonna exercise. And so when I'm going to do that, I'm going to exercise. Instead of thinking like, hey, in the morning when I wake up, I know this thing, exercise, is actually something that contributes to all these other things in my life. Especially, you know, like if you think about it, it's like, hey, it's gonna help me work better, be more productive. So when I go to exercise, I'm not going to exercise, I'm actually clocking in, I'm going to work something I have to do to work better. So I hope that that helps shift you and puts a little nugget in your head the way it did mine. And, you know, there's a little bonus in here and the little bonus is like, hey, picking a word of the year and saying like, how can I make that my focus for the year? Uh, we we had some people on a show, uh, Year End Extravaganza. If you search it, Year End Extravaganza, uh, you'll probably find it. It's a Tonight Show style uh, show that we did. And uh, several people on that show also chose, gave us their word for the year. So there it is. First episode of the year. We have a lot of great episodes coming in 2023. Um, if you don't know, and I don't talk about it a lot on this podcast, but I do have a morning show that I do with my business partner, Kyle. Um, it's called the automotive troublemaker. So you can search it on podcast platform, or you can check it out. We do a video live stream every morning, the automotive troublemaker as a part of our efforts to build our media company, automotive state of the union, which is a SOTU, A-S-O-T-U. It actually says it on my hat, A-S-O-T-U. And uh, so maybe we can connect in different ways this year and uh, kind of move forward together and help each other out a little bit more. But until then, I hope you have an amazing first week to 2023. I hope you have an amazing 2023. And as always, we're gonna be walking together, figuring out what the best perspective is, because that is the clarity. I'll see you next week. We can